So I'm in town today and we're going to show people the Dismantle Diary video, get their opinions and see what they think about it and see what they think about the truth. So yeah, stay tuned. Probably seen enough. I just want to say thank you for not no, looking away. No worries. Um, um, and I guess, thanks very much by the way, I guess yeah. the question is, um, have you ever seen anything like that before? Yeah, uh, I'm vegetarian. I'm strict vegetarian. I am not quite vegan. Yeah. I don't buy dairy milk. I don't buy dairy cheese. However, if I'm out and a coffee shop doesn't have a non-dairy... Like plant milks? It doesn't have a non-dairy uh, milk alternative. I'll drink milk in that scenario. If I go out and grab a pizza or a meal has cheese in it, I'll do it then. But I've, I, I drastically reduced it, and it's for these reasons. Um, I for have, ethical reasons? For, for, for in large part, it's a composite. Uh, my, my decision is a composite of many different things. So there's the environmental, there's the moral, there's the ethical. Um, oh man, you're all about it. There's you the know. health. So I just want to firstly say thank you for not looking away. No. Um, well, I mean, have you ever seen anything like that before? Uh, are you no, aware of that? Like obviously or? not like really up anywhere. Like no one really knows why what goes on behind the scenes and stuff. Because like, I mean, we all like eat dairy and use dairy like, everyday lives. Like yeah. in every food we get, in any. It's so normal and yeah. just cultural. So, like, like I would never really. I wouldn't go online to look up these videos either. To yeah, like, because yeah. like no one wants to know about it either. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I do. Like obviously. Eat dairy, no, that's. I mean, I used to as well, so don't feel bad about it. I think yeah. you can't be held accountable for what you don't know you're participating in. Yeah. Um, but the way I feel about it is, animals can't do anything to speak up for themselves. They can't. Yeah. They can't t let people know what's happening to them. And so I'm just out here yeah. trying to spread the word. I I struggled to make the distinction between the meat or the product on my plate and and the animal and the whole process that goes with it because. Uh, when I worked in that industry, there, we used to have a thing that if your eggs had a cartoon chicken on them, mm -hmm. or if your bacon had a cartoon pig, or there was a wee red farmhouse with a tractor outside it on it, you could be pretty fucking sure that wasn't the case, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reality of what free range means is not what people think of free range. Um, it is, it, it is uh, indoors. Potentially, no. There's exceptions to this. It's indoors. It's artificially lit. It's artificially yep. heated. Yep. The birds are given. Uh, my Eight, last four. time. My last time of reckoning, it was it was it was three feet square, so yep. not quite a meter. Uh -huh. It can be like sixteen thousand birds in one shed, can it? It can be. So the video is called "This Is the Truth." Yeah. I suppose for you to not really have seen anything like that before, because sometimes we can get accused of like sensationalizing or picking yeah. like worst case scenarios or whatever. But that video is is um objectively just saying the standard legal practices of what happened in the industry yeah. so based on like within the law and and whatever else like are you sort of how do you feel about like becoming aware then i guess from banned dairy products of uh, uh, contributing to something like that and, and not knowing um, that i'm sure there's places that don't do that kind of like practice that in that way so but you never know do they because they do it behind the scenes yeah, yeah so they could be crammed in there's dead birds there's disease yeah. there's there's prescriptive inoculation rather than reactive there's a lot of suffering that goes in with that yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and i um the last bit of meat i ate was actually chicken and uh, I just went, this bird's had such a shit wee life now for me to eat it and I only partially enjoy it, you know, and anyone who thinks that food has not the UK's biggest manufacturing industry is food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It isn't cars, yeah. it isn't electronics, yeah. it, it isn't any of those other things, it's food and the processed, uh, uh, the pro it is processed meat and, 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 and dairy. Now, I'll give you a laugh. My girlfriend used to work in an abattoir up until recently. Wow, uh, wow. Her B. She doesn't try and change my attitude. She yeah. doesn't say, you know, oh, whatever. And I don't pressure her. She would eat a lot more vegetarian now. Uh -huh. uh, and she's an animal lover. She worked in a small abattoir. And, and they had a lot shorter chain. And she saw things pretty much start to finish. She was happy uh, with giving the industry and things that, that she wasn't exactly turned bad. But she I, was happy. Um, she was happy. That do you think the animals were happy? Fuck no, of course not. Animals don't, um, they don't really have the rights to bodily yeah. autonomy. They're not free. They're seen as, in, I'm sure you heard of the word livestock. Yeah. So they're literally seen like stock, like product yeah. um, to the industry. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, 
products are sold. We're told that these are products that we need for our health, and they're they're marketed to us, and they're and they're sold to us, and, and we consume them and whatever. So, I mean, if you think about it, like they have certain quotas and targets for like milk output and everything. Yeah. What happens when a cow doesn't doesn't want to doesn't want to stand up because they're exhausted yeah. or they don't don't want don't walk to the milk parlor they have to use force and violence yeah. to get them to do that because at the end of the day it's a business and do you mind if I ask I appreciate um, you like sharing this with me because yeah. that's that's really insightful um, just on the sort of dairy thing do you think like what we what you watch do you think the way it's called this is the truth do you think that's objectively fair to say that that is the case it was filmed over two years undercover uh, many many farms in the UK um, I don't know I think I think you're down in the semantics I think it is pretty fair I, I, I noticed I know that if I was gonna try and pick apart your argument I would say you should be started so that's why that's my personal way of, of, of I, I was a program manager I had to pick things apart before other people did man no work away work away would say you know, the truth is a um, an emotive term um, although it is, uh, you know, here's the facts. Here's the um, do, do you here's mean the evidence? I would say here's the evidence. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, do you feel like that video was? Because um, for me, like, if I'm correct in what you're saying, it's kind of like uh, don't try and don't try and persuade people on an emotive level. Um, and I can kind of agree with that. Um, no, I'm not saying not to persuade people. Sorry, I got no, you No, no, you're okay. That wasn't um, really the point. I think there is strength and emotion because we're emotional creatures, but um, that video was made to be as objective as possible. And in terms of like, they're literally showing what the footage said and he's literally just narrating it as it is. Like the babies are punched, kicked, they're taken away from their mothers. When That's they, there when to they be seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's sort of like, we don't want to be, we don't want to be able to, for people to accuse us of saying, no, that's so biased, it's like really emotive, like your so language, I know, I can it's tell just you literally now saying, from this is what happens. And having close proximity to the to, to people who work in abattoirs and in farms, um, that the, the, the blue, the blue, the blue pipe, that you see them being, that's, that, that's called the blue pipe. That, What's that? That's what they were being hit with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hooked with. Yeah. Now, they, they, it's because they don't always do what the farmers want them to do and when, when you're in that scenario they have to produce the milk so they have to they I'm, have to use I'm force the role of someone who would, would, would what they would say to counter that and they'd say big strong animals big thick hides yeah it's deliberately used because it doesn't hurt them i think stab them with the end of it the, the, the hand end of it that's that's going to get a reaction do you think it hurts them eh, of course it does unless it's a reaction yeah, yeah, yeah. i think it's pretty obvious i think it's pretty obvious i'm more not playing devil's advocate but looking for where were the people who are likely to disagree with you going to go to, even though I support you? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And uh, my, I, I, I struggle that people say they're animal lovers and they care so undoubtedly about their wee dogs and about pet their lovers and stuff, but they just don't want to think about it. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it's very easy for them to turn off the connection between that animal that's been raised, exploited, put through a, a very, very, very unpleasant process to give you what is uh, your food at the end of it. What you're convinced to believe is a food product that you need. There's there, now we're getting into opinions again, but I'm not gonna. Well, uh, just like sort of in terms of you can't get by in terms it. of like a fact, like a you know. Have said it's like they're the largest group of scientists, um, largest group of nutritionists on earth. It's like a hundred thousand scientists, and they've said that a plant-based, whole foods, vegan diet is suitable for all stages of life, including infancy um, and and, uh, and old age, and even like there's there's athletes who are vegan, MMA fighters. There, there, there so it's are. like so again, objectively. I've, I've got some. Like I'm, I'm just saying it's not my opinion. Like it's objectively proven that you can be healthy on a not, on a whole food plant-based diet. Been. What I'm saying is people have to have their own choice as well. Of course, of course, of okay. course. Now, I'm not going to tell anyone, in my experience, telling people what to do is a pretty shit way of doing things. I'm not saying that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think we want to believe that, like, there's... I'm not saying farmers are bad people and farmers are, like, animal abusers. Yeah. Um, I just mean that when it's industry-wide and when it's so... 
massively done, inevitably scenarios like that are going to happen. Yeah. Just because just because it's happening so much. Like there's 800 um, what's known as factory farms in the UK, and that's like modelled from America, like big business. Uh, a lot of like they be in sheds under artificial lights. They don't get the room and everything like that. But um, I guess I guess it's sort of like um, based based on like watching that. Do you think that there's like a do you think that there's like a justification then to to continue to consume like dairy products? Like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. This is grim, but like, I obviously don't. I don't think that I would stop consuming it. But like, but I don't know. Like myself, like I only seen that there now. I don't really know what to think of it as well. It's really grim. And it's really sad. But like, um, maybe I'll be more careful now in what products I choose to buy. Animal lovers, I know. If you were to show them, not not my girlfriend because she really does know it, but. A lot of people don't want to know. Like my ma would be like, oh my god, I can't watch, I can't watch, I can't my watch. My folks are the like, same, yeah. But you know, you're happy to eat the end product of it, you're happy to be the silent partner in this. And yeah, I, pay the hitman. I can't do that. I had the I I I couldn't by good virtue yeah. look myself in the eye and say, I'm okay with this and For us it's about like as vegan activists, animals can't speak up for themselves. They can't do anything to defend themselves. If they could, they would, they would save themselves, but because they can't, they're just helpless. Mm. I feel morally obligated because I'm privileged enough to know and I can do something about it. So I feel it's my duty to do something about it because they can't help themselves. Fair play. And the whole, like it's so, I'm so in tune with what you're saying in regards to like, sort of, it's a, to it's a choice. People have to have choice. And I think like what you say is like, people don't want to face it. But what people don't seem to realize in my experience is their personal choice isn't just a personal choice when it has a victim when there's someone else like an individual when an animal who has a preference to live and be free from suffering and we share that those values in common with animals as soon as our personal choices start hurting others um it's not just like personal to us like a personal choice i'm grateful that you personally decided to have this conversation mm -hmm. but like this isn't harming anyone whereas when we I buy dairy products we're separating babies from mothers. Ninety thousand calves are shot and the, are killed um, in the dairy industry in the UK alone yeah, in one year. And, and so all this background suffering that baby, is like baby attached. Chicks as well. Meal yeah, grind up alive in the egg industry and story, like, you yeah, know. Yeah. There's a lot of it. I don't. I, I can't. The decision was made for me to some extent, and I'm not saying I'll never eat meat again. And I'm not saying I'll never eat meat again. I'm vegetarian. I'm strict vegetarian. Been and learn what I've learned, and I like you felt obligated and, and that you had to change. It was it was the only outcome really for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I wouldn't even enjoy meat if I had it now. It's bad for the environment. I oh, think so much. We're we're led to believe that we're getting good high quality food, which is in fact not food. A lot it's of the slaughtered food. flesh of so dead we, animals. Well, I, on another which we're point, convinced we, is food. It's not food, don't you? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, this is 2019. <laughs> I can't, for various reasons, bring myself to do it. And I think if people knew it and saw it regularly, they, they wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Yeah, even. that's it, man. I think we all hold these values in common. And it's just trying to nudge people, spark a conversation, uh, and just say, look, I didn't know this, and I feel you have a right to know. And based on that, like, what do you think? And try and try and... I think we all have an obligation to improve the society that we grew up in and make it better. When we pass on, we want people to come after us to be like to have a better world. Um, I, I, yeah, it's like Simon Ansel's Carnage, you know. Yeah, you know, awesome documentary. Yeah, 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 like the way other people looked on. You know, I think it was slavery was the example they yeah, gave. Yeah, Can't yeah. believe my ancestors did this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think. Get the message out there and get it out there in the right way. I can't advise you what the right way is, but yeah. I, I think if you even just leave it and let it settle and you can get people to watch stuff, hey Jimmy, um, then it's going to take a real hard bastard not to look at it and go, that's that's suffering, that's explicit. And I think that brings it full circle then to, this is the truth. Maybe you don't know, uh, like there is a plant-based version of every dairy product now, whether it's yogurt, cheese, ice cream, milk, yeah. there's like, there's plant plant based versions of it yeah. where where like babies aren't being taken away from their mothers and shot and killed just yeah. because they're male, where animals aren't being like forcibly impregnated yeah. and sent to a slaughterhouse after like their fifth baby because their milk yield drops yeah. and all that. Like so for me it's just like if I can get like a a plant based product that is nutritionally yeah. as adequate and just as tasty and and whatever else, just as convenient, go into the same shop and get it. Um, yeah. then how do I as a paying customer justify 
continuing to do this to these animals who can't speak up and defend themselves when I actually have the choice. Yeah. Like we're privileged, we're living in a westernized world and we have these options. Um, we're privileged enough to have choice, like how do we justify um, then what, like knowingly paying for like cruelty if if we don't have to and there's other options I guess yeah. that's, that's like the sort I saw, of thing. Like, like for me for example I don't think I could afford like half the plant based uh-huh. Things like I would never look into, it, but maybe I'm wrong. Like, I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, because there, there. Look, um, it's. I just know my. I've heard from people. It's like more expensive to be like. Yeah, there is. Me. There is like. Um, and like it's somewhat of a myth, like to say that it's really expensive to be, to be to be a yeah. vegan. Um, some products are pricey, but some like animal-based products are pretty pricey too. Yeah. I mean, in general, it might be a little bit more for plant milks. Um, sometimes there's offers on, like I've seen offers and it's like a pound for a carton of plant-based milk, yeah. um, which is pretty good, but at the end of the day, um, I think me, I'm, I'm someone who thinks like we should we should strive to like be better and make better choices based on yeah. based on being educated, and um, it's also horrific for the environment, um, the amount of land that you have to, like deforesting like natural wildlife and everything just yeah. to have land to grow um, crops to feed animals and have land to have the animals on where um, you can basically yield a lot less or a lot more plant protein on a lot less land. Yeah. Um, also, uh, animal agriculture is responsible for more greenhouse gases than all forms of transport yeah. put together. And um, as well, like, have you ever thought about the fact that, so take like milk, cow's milk, we're not baby cows. Yeah. Cows only produce milk um, for their babies. So generally, um, as humans, we're like breastfed our mother's milk. And then at a point, we're weaned off that. And yeah. have you ever thought about um, how strange it is that we're then given like the breast milk of a farm animal? Yeah. And how, like if I was to say to you now, yeah, Tesco's are doing this new offer. Um, they're selling dog milk or rat milk, which yeah. are also mammals. Uh, who also produce breast milk? Um, would you be like, oh, I would be interested in trying rat milk or having rat Probably milk not, in my tea? No. Doesn't that seem weird? Yeah. But would you agree that the only reason it seems weird is because we've not been like brought up in that culture, yeah, that's and true. it's just like we're, it's normal. That's Every, what I mean, like, it's like you said at the yeah, start. It's been it's, around forever, and like no one would think of it. But yeah. I do think you're actually intrinsically right. Yeah, it is. It's it's a truthful depiction of. It's not a depiction. It's you're just stating the facts. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thank you so much for your contribution, man. I just want to say, um, what is it then for you? You said you don't consume like uh, dairy milk. I would. Very what is it for you that's like making it. you? What it's is? Not, what is it that's? Uh, it's the knowledge of the process behind it and the suffering involved, and that a lot of the time it, it, it's not the, the healthy, pure substance that you believe it is. But no, it's animal welfare. I don't. In that instance, I. I it's the welfare. Welfare yeah. is a huge part of it. Environmental is a huge part of it. Uh, Sorry, I, I don't. Health is part of it. Yeah. But, but I don't yeah. think I was clear on my question. What I meant is, you said you were vegetarian. Yeah. What's like? What sort of? Do you think you could be vegan based on the environmental? Yeah. I, I've and been is, vegan what, at times, but I've been unable to stick to it. So, I, when I speak to people and they say they have ideas, but I say right, start by reducing. Either have one day a week two days a week or start eliminating things or reducing your intake of things overall. I stopped eating meat, I stopped eating and then eventually, uh, sorry, quite soon afterwards stopped eating fish. I eat very little dairy yeah, yeah. and I think it, and, and there's there's probably entire weeks go past where I don't eat any, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but occasionally I will and I suppose that's out of convenience and to call myself a hypocrite that's probably because it's not, it's not even in alignment with the values that you have. I mind I a lot. But sometimes I just grab a coffee. Sometimes I just grab a pizza. Yeah. I do, do you think there's more availability of it, and you yeah. see as, and I'm sure it's all financially driven as much as it's morally and ethically driven. But as 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 you can get uh, vegan options, I, I think a lot more people will take it up. I, I think convenience. People are fucking lazy and busy. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. If it's available, which it is increasingly so, I'll happily eat the vegan options. Yeah. Do you think that convenience? Um trumps the moral issue like you say you know if the plant-based version isn't there or if the not if the dairy cheese is the only option you're choosing convenience over sort of something that you yeah, inherently hard, agree to, it would be hard to deny that as much as it would probably not like to but it's uh you you maybe you turn off for that split second your 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 focus is 
on another topic and that's maybe getting where you need to be or yeah uh, it's on you and it's not on the victim who's been no, negatively I, impacted I think it's I think I'm I'm not a vegan I think I'm better than most but yeah your your focus slips sometimes yeah and um, I appreciate your you honesty man you know what fucks me off that you're not paying extra for dairy when you're out and you're paying more for a vegan option surely you should be incentivizing the vegan like I'll not pick on any named coffee shops yeah, but there's yeah. some I go to quite good and um, you pay more for your non-dairy milk I yeah, would say yeah. surely subsidize your non-dairy yeah, milk with, yeah. with the, the milk that other the dairy with the dairy milk so yeah that's only my take on things no no that's that's a valid point and I'm sure you're probably aware that the only reason that dairy products are so cheap is because they're heavily subsidized by the government. Really? And if the government didn't heavily man. subsidize them, they'd be extortionately priced. And just to sort of go full circle with that, with a other point you made, in general, like you know that like eating vegan on average is like it can be a lot cheaper than eating like a diet of animal products because like the hell, the cheapest foods in the world, like rice, beans, lentils, potatoes, vegetables, yeah. fruits, they're a lot cheaper than like a lot of animal products, and yeah, yeah, it can yeah, be done it, it basically. Definitely, it definitely saves money. Um, I think that's. And it's a it's a myth of vegan foods boring as well. I think oh man, I got so much more creative. Learned there were so much more options of actual food to eat. Just eating loads of fucking corn. And yeah, and there's things, so much more things that are meat replicas. I, I read that uh, the the best. I think they're the best helpful for people transitioning. Stop, for people transitioning, but just stop building. And then you your, can wean your meat or your meat is the focal point of your dinner. I, I want to say about the, 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 the agricultural guys. There is a there's things aren't just ethical they are societal and, and yeah and for sure we're all conditioned are, to I, I i i want i'd love to see farmers diversify in this on us but i i don't believe all farmers are bad I no me either me either in a way i i would hate to see anyone fishermen farmers lose their job I, i'd love to see them move into something else and secure plant-based agriculture but i don't want because we need farmers we need farmers to transition into plant-based well, Products. Entirely, but I, I, I don't like the lobbies, I don't like the, the, the subsidies, um, I, I think things could be done much differently, but I don't want uh, farmers as, a, as an industry or a group of people to, to suffer. Um, I don't think that would be fair either. Me either, me either. Um, it, I meet some people who are too one focused and, and, and any, in any argument, if you're only yeah, yeah. focused on one part of it, you're probably not going to succeed. So I think ensuring that everyone's represented and taken care of. And I mean, for sure, for sure. Do you mean everyone as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that that would be that would be lovely, and it would be a much nicer place. Thanks so much for your time, man. Um, Listen, thank you no very much. No worries, man. I do have to run. No worries. So, do you think you would maybe try like plant-based products, like would, plant milks, cheeses, yeah. and everything? Like my roommates, I'm pretty sure he has like, is it soy milk and all? And, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. he has There's, that. Like, lo- lo- lots of different um, yeah. plant milks. If soy milk you don't like it, you can yeah, try almond milk or yeah. oat milk. Yeah, oat milk's yeah. really good in tea and everything. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess um, I would just encourage you to like check it out yeah. and try it and like that's, if, pretty, that's all you could probably do. Like yeah. Yeah, I mean. People should have the right to um, their own personal choices yeah. and what they want to buy and support and everything. Um, just, just the last little thing I'll leave you with is uh, when we're buying, like, so say you took the personal choice to have this conversation with me, but when we personally choose to buy animal products, um, we're removing the animal's personal choice to yeah. to want to be free from exploitation and suffering, and we're saying that our convenience or our culture, or our taste bud pleasure is worth more to us than yeah. than an animal having freedom. When I feel like uh, we all want to be free to do whatever yeah. we want to do, and like it's just a nice thing to do to include animals in that, and like animals want yeah, to be respected and have uh, have the rights I, to be free um, and everything. I just don't think people think about it. Like that's really much it. Like we, don't, yeah. I don't know. Like I don't. It's true. Myself, I don't think about this yeah. ever. It's like, you know. It's funny because they have so much um, money to promote like these yeah. happy animals and like you ever go into Tesco's and see that cheese brand, the laughing cow? Yeah. Like these cows are far from laughing. They're they're being exploited, they're being oppressed, they're being sent to slaughterhouses, yeah. their babies are being taken away from them, they're having forced pregnancies. No one's Wait, laughing. Oh. You know, so there is definitely it's not just coincidental that um, it's never crossed your mind. Yeah. It's deliberate. They know they know that if people um, are seeing it one way they're never going to think about the other way you know so they have a lot of money they fund a lot of biased science um you look at like oh milk's really good for you and all this and you looked at the sponsor of the science and it's like funded by the dairy industry and so there's definitely like dirty politics there but ultimately um if we don't have to hurt animals like then i feel like uh we 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 just shouldn't yeah Yeah. you agree yeah what's your name camille camille nice name i'm thomas um 
if I give you like a card information, just look into it a little bit more. Yeah. It's free. Um, and it's like you say, you just don't know. So yeah. if you find out, you might actually realize, look, um, I don't actually agree with this, yeah. you know. And um, thank you so much for your no time. Worries, yeah.